logging project is in the works for the Pisgah National Forest. News 13's Karen Wynn joins us. And Karen, which part of the forest is it planned for? Actually, Tammy, that 472 foot acres below the Devil's Courthouse at the French Broad River headwaters. Both environmentalists and forest rangers are asking for the public's input on whether or not that logging should happen. Biologist Josh Kelly loves a good hike and great scenery. So the member of the Western North Carolina Alliance is not crazy about the proposed timber sale near the Devil's Courthouse. We're talking about a, an area that is bounded by the Blue Ridge Parkway, uh, North Carolina Scenic Byway and Highway 215 and the Art Loeb Trail, and has also been identified as biologist with the state of North Carolina as one of the most important forested areas in the entire state. Kelly says the logging project would put some forest species in jeopardy. Particularly some bird species that um, thrive in mature forest conditions with large trees like brown creeper and Appalachian yellow-bellied sapsucker uh, would be impacted as well as the eastern small-footed bat. Kelly also mentions this part of Pisgah Forest gets on average 90 inches of rain a year. He says logging could lead to erosion on roads and into Courthouse Creek, a top trout stream. But rangers say the logging project would actually help not hurt the species in the Pisgah National Forest. Ranger Derek Ibargwin says every forest needs to do some logging to stay healthy. And yes, the tourists may see some of it. It's a forest, a managed forest that we manage, so they may, they may see some of it. Uh, but some of the areas that are, uh, it will not be dominant on the landscape. But ultimately, the logging will do more good than harm. Treating non-native invasive species, uh, we're improving trout habitat. We have some water crossings, some culverts that would be replaced that would, that would uh, help the, the flow of, of the creeks. You're taking out the competition for oak regeneration. Uh, you're, you're providing more sunlight to the floor for oak regeneration. Andy Bargwin says additional oak will lead to more acorns, which will provide more food for wildlife. Both Kelly and Andy Bargwin encouraged the public to comment on the upcoming timber sale, saying since it's public land, the public's input will be crucial on how or when the project goes forward. People can email or write to Ranger Bargwin at the Pisgah Forest Ranger Station, and that deadline to comment is January 18th.